Hello everyone! How are you? I hope you are all doing great and that you are all safe. My name is Marian Jane but you can call me Teacher Yan for short. And I'll be your science teacher. So for today, we're gonna talk about science. So for your reference, you can open your science book to pages 3 to 6. Now, going back, what is all about science? Science is the study of all things around us. Let's read it one more time. Science is the study of all things around us. Okay, so we study the things around us using a step-by-step -step process. And this process is called the scientific process. Okay, now, the scientific process is grouped into three types. So what are, what are these three types? First, we have the scientific method. The second one is the science process skills. And the last one is the scientific mind. But for this video, we are just going to talk about the scientific method. Okay? So, before we start, let's have some set of words here for you to better understand our topic. So, the first word is scientist scientist okay so these are um, pictures of scientists okay these people are the ones who are uh, always curious about the world they are very interested in inventing uh, new things or things around us like um, the telephone the light bulb the television and many more okay do you want to be a scientist great now, for the second word, we have hypothesis. Hypothesis, okay? So, hypothesis is an educated guess. These are the answers we make to our questions based from the information that we already know. Okay, and the last word is the conclusion. Conclusion, okay? So, this is the end of the process. It is the end of the process. Okay, going back, have you ever had a question about the world like how do airplanes fly or how do plants grow or experiments like what will happen if I add baking soda, vinegar, and food coloring all together? We are going to find out the answer for this question because today we are going to use the scientific method and what is all about the scientific method it is a way to learn science using a step-by-step -step action okay let's read one more time scientific method is a way to learn science using a step-by-step -step action okay so the scientific method has five simple steps that we need to follow Okay, so the first step is ask a question. Ask a question. The second step is make a hypothesis. Make hypothesis. The third one is to gather information. Gather information. The fourth one is study the information. And the final step is to draw a conclusion to draw a conclusion okay so we are going to uh, talk about this final I mean the five simple steps one by one so first we have ask a question okay so we are going to ask question based or using the five senses so what are our five senses the human senses we have the sense of hearing the sense of touch the sense of sight sense of smell and the sense of taste that's my favorite part okay so those are our five senses so the second step is make a hypothesis we are gonna make a hypothesis so uh, we are going to guess okay so we are going to guess what is the answer of that question based from uh, the knowledge or the information that we currently know okay now after making it up 
or after making a hypothesis, we proceed to gathering information. We have to gather information. So this is, so this, I mean, so in this step, we are going to um, explore more. We are going to conduct an experiment and observe carefully. Okay, and then after the experimentation, we have to study the information. So here, this is the most important step in the scientific method. So here, we are going to try to um, answer the questions that we had. Okay, we are going to explain the results that we got. Okay, and the final step is draw a conclusion. So here we are going to decide or we are going to uh, check whether our, hypo our hypothesis and the result will match. Okay, so let's have an example. Let's have this baking soda, vinegar, and food color experiment. Are you excited? Great. So the first step is ask a question. Okay, so let's watch this video. If, what would happen if I add baking soda and vinegar and food coloring all together? Okay, so she is curious if what will happen if we put baking soda, vinegar, and food coloring all together. So that was the question. Next, the second step is make a hypothesis. My hypothesis is that I think it will explode. Okay, so here she thought that if you add those materials, it will explode. She thought that it will explode. Okay, so we're going to find out that later. So the third step is gather information. So here, let's have the experiment. Okay, so that was the experiment. She first put the vinegar and then followed by the food coloring and then followed by the baking soda then what happened next it fizzes out of the glass right it fizzes out of the glass now after the experimentation we have to study the information make sure to study write the information what happened in your experiment So again, this is the most important step in the scientific method. You are going to record your data. You have to write clearly. You have to observe properly the experimentation. Now, let's move on to the fifth step, which is to draw a conclusion. And food coloring mix. It fizzes out of the cup. Now, the conclusion was, based from the experiment, when we put um, baking soda, vinegar, and food coloring all together, it fizzes out of the glass. It fizzes out of the glass. Now, going back to our hypothesis, she thought that if the materials are uh, added all together, it will explode. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen to the experiment. So there is a possibility that our or our hypothesis and the result of the experiment will not match. Okay, so that's it. So for your activity, you can open your book to page 4 and answer the question there based from what you learned from this video. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you for listening. Have a great day and goodbye.